Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week's tutorial, yes, this week's tutorial is a quick um full face glam with some bold lips. I hardly ever wear red lipstick. So you guys should count yourselves lucky that something reddish orangish is on my lips. That's just by the way. But anyways guys, um so if you just want to see how I achieve this look, keep watching and I'll see you guys soon. So as usual with everything, first thing I'm going to do is go to refresh my face using my Revolution Fixing Spray. I know it's a fixing spray, but I always use it to refresh my face before I start my makeup. And I'm just going to start with my eyebrows using my eye Love brow kit. Um, normally I use a brow pencil, but I'm trying to change my makeup habit of using a brow pencil and now I'm going to start using like a brow kit with like the gel and the powder. And that's just what I'm doing here. I'm just creating the outline for my eyebrows. I'm just going to fill them in with my brow, with the brow powder with a small blending brush. So after filling in my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my concealer, my LA Girl Pro Concealer to clean the edges of my eyebrows and just to define them more. I know the light is making it look like it's white, but the concealer is really not that light. It's just the white light that's just reflecting on it basically. So after using my flat brush to apply the concealer, I'm now using like a bigger brush just to blend it out and just prevent having like a halo around my eyebrows. So now that my eyebrows are done, I'm going on to my eye makeup. So for this look, I went very neutral and nude. Um, I wasn't doing anything over the top, I just used some copper eyeshadow with some brown eyeshadow and here I'm just priming my eyes with my main concealer and just dabbing that on and I'm, I'm going to apply some light brown eyeshadow just to set the primer. So now for my eyeshadow, on the lid of my eyes, I'm going to be applying some copper eyeshadow from my BH Cosmetic Day to Night Palette. I'm just going to take a very flat um, eyeshadow brush and just dab it into the eyeshadow and just put it on my eyes and just try and put it all over my eyelids. So now I'm just taking a light brown eyeshadow from my Sleek Stone palette and just using that as my transition color and just applying that on the outer part of my eyes and the crease and the crease area. Um, I'm then going to take a darker brown eyeshadow, which I think is from number seven. I actually stole the eyeshadow from my mom. Um, actually, I didn't steal the eyeshadow. I borrowed the eyeshadow for a long period of time from my mom. It's just a dark brown eyeshadow. I'm just going to be using that on the outer part of my crease. And um, don't judge me, guys. So with the darker brown eyeshadow, I'm just putting that at the outer part of my crease and trying not to get into the inner part of my eyes with the eyeshadow. If not, I'll just look like a panda and it's not a cute look on anyone boo boo. So I'm just trying to get that only on the outer part of my crease and the outer part of my lid also.
So now to finish my eyeshadow, I'm going to be applying my eyeliner and my mascara. So today was one of those days where my makeup was just trying not to flick. I like literally didn't to give it a pep talk. I was like, if you don't flick, you're just doing yourself. You know how an African parent tells their child that you're just doing yourself? That's what I was telling my makeup. I was like, you're just doing yourself. So you better flick if you know what's good for you. So basically, I gave my makeup a pep talk and then it started to flick. End of my story. So after priming my face with my primer, my MUA base primer, I'm now going to apply my book brown foundation. And as you can see, I'm shaking here because I'm trying to shake that bottle to get all the foundation out. The foundation is trying to finish on me and I'm like, no, you cannot finish on me. So um, I actually went to get the number seven foundation and it's not a bad foundation, but it's just not as good as my Bobbi Brown. And I just think I just cough up some 35 pounds and get a new foundation. So guys, as usual, the next step is to highlight and as usual, I'm using my concealer to highlight and here yeah, I'm just looking confused because my beauty blender decided to disappear and I'm like, um, where you at though? Where you at though? But yeah, I found it eventually, I think. Yes, I found it because I had to blend my concealer. But yeah, so I'm just going to use that to blend my concealer as usual and I'm just going to apply that under my eyes and blend 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 and then bake it with some benign luxury banana powder so guys this part i had to stop doing my voiceover because i just wanted to try on this new <laughs> lip kit that i got from <laughs> make i don't even know if that name is safe revolution makeup revolution London. you know it's a revolution that i find in super drug i just got this i saw this lip kit there and i was like you know what since you know every time Kylie Jenner, because it's hard to get Kylie Jenner lip kits in this UK, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try Revolution, and it was cheap. It was like six pounds. I'm gonna buy like four. Put it on Gadaids, Kojo, and start trying. But I'm going to do a lip swatch for this definitely. <laughs> this one's the shade Regal, and you guys are going to see my reaction to this. So let's go on. Hmm. Let's see. So this is my. NYX NYX who calls it NYX I'm sure everyone calls it NYX but my NYX lip liner in the shade I think it's dark cocoa <laughs> but oh it's in shade cocoa actually but it's not that dark but let's just see let's see how it goes with this orange like lipstick So when I originally saw the um pack of lip kit, it looked like it was red. Am I the only one? Oh gosh, where's the camera stuff now? That way? Am I the only one who thinks this is red? But apparently it's not red, it's orange. Because that looks orange. But we shall see. I thought my hands were actually. So I already tried on this lip thing before and I tried removing it and guys, it did not go anywhere. It just did not want to move at all. I was like, okay, but yeah. As per usual, I'm not sure how I feel about it, but we will manage it. So after applying my lipstick, I'm now just going to dust off excess powder from my baking process. I'm just going to dust that off and just blend everything and try and set my foundation in place. guys you know i have to finish with my mac fix plus spray you know i have to 
hi guys thank you so much for watching my video if you like the video give the thumbs up button like share subscribe follow me on all social media my social media details are going to be on here in a few seconds and please don't forget to comment and if you guys have any more requests let me know and until then god bless you